Hi, I'm Melody. I'm Candy. And I'm Gabe. And you're listening to Quirks, Bumps, and Bruises. Well, we thought we'd have some fun today on the podcast. This may be part of the quirk part of Quirks, Bumps, and Bruises (laughs) because we are going to play one of my favorite games. Are you ready? It is called Would You Rather. I love this game because it makes you think. You too. You have to. I do because you have to really decide between two tough choices. And so, in this world of where we Google everything, <laughs> this is a game where you actually have to think for yourself. All right. So let me ask: Has this been made into a game show yet? No, because but you I, should definitely be a contestant. I it, know. I should be the host. It's two game. equally wonderful things, or two equally terrible things. <laughs> mm-hmm. That you have to choose from. And Melody, I think you mention this pretty much every day of your life. So you do love it. She does. Create that show. You should be a contestant on it. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you, Gabe. That was and you a can win a million dollars. very rare compliment coming from you. So I will take it and put it in my pocket. All right. So I'm going to start this game with you two. So here is your would you rather. Would you rather be married to a 10... You know what I'm saying? They're a 10. I think we know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. I'm married to a 10. I'm picking up what you're putting down. With a really bad personality. Oh. Or would you rather be married to a 4 with an amazing personality? Candy. How bad is 4? <laughs> what is 4 It depends four where you are. Well, no. if you know 10 is over here and 1 is down here. I'm just going to have to go with the personality. My husband's got both. He's a 10 and he's got a good personality. So I'm thankful for that. But um, He ain't listening to Candy. You don't have to yeah. say that. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, looks fade. Personality does not. Yeah. So I'm going to go with personality. Does that remind you of what that person said to me that time? Yeah. I thought you'd forgot that. Yeah. This I have to tell this story because it's hilarious. <laughs> One of the funniest things that's ever been said to me at a concert. This gentleman walks up and he said, I like you and Candy. He said, she's pretty, but you're funny and looks fade, but funny lasts forever. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> That's great. I know it was one of those things I walked away from going, was that, was that a compliment or was that not? It was. <laughs> it really was. All right. So, Gabe, I'm going to ask you the same question. Would you be uh, rather be married to a 10 with a bad personality or a 4 with an amazing personality? You see, and the problem is <laughs> because a 10 some places – might be a four somewhere else. It depends where you are. What does that even mean? Th- this a four is why some everything is so exhausting with you two. There's 14 <laughs> questions. What do you well, mean? Well, I feel like I'm at a disadvantage because I'm only dude. So if I say personality, you're going to be like, oh, you feel like you have to say that. <laughs> right. And if I say looks, you're going to be like, typical guy. Well, so I'm in a lose-lose situation. And that's exactly where we like you. <laughs> No, you do. <laughs> I still want to know what, like, a 10 in North Carolina versus a, a 10 in South Carolina. Come on, Gabe. Just answer the question. <laughs> I will go totally superficial on that one and say, I'll take the 10. Uh, well, good for that you for being hard. honest. That's and horrible. I figured that's what you I'll just saying. be honest. See, she said it was horrible. <laughs> if I'd have said the other, she wouldn't have believed me. I know, but I, I appreciate your honesty. It's a little shallow, but I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> Absolutely. I lose, no matter. But you I'm do. with Candy. I'm going to be with the personality <laughs> always. Yeah. Hey, if you can make me laugh, I'm happy. You right. can make me laugh, you know. <laughs> so, all right. So, Candy, do you have a would you rather? I do. I love it. I do. And, um, you know, since we're in radio, I figured this would be a good question. Okay. You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Would you rather... Have a song of your choice play repeatedly 24 hours a day for a year. Or have songs that you have no control over play 24 hours a day oh. for a year. So I get to pick the song, but it plays 24 hours a day. Yeah, for a year. Or it's just a bunch of random ones random you don't songs. have a choice in. I would have to go with the random songs. Yeah. Because no matter how much I love the song, 
after about the tenth time, right? It's not going to be true. my favorite song. Mm-mm. So even if I don't like some of the songs in the in the random mix of songs, um, it would be better to just hear something different. Yeah. So that's me. What about you, Gabe? I go with that. The variety. I like. Mix it is it the up, spice like of life, you know. It is. Yeah, what if it was like horrible, horrible music that you like rap, rap or like hard, hard, hard rock hardcore stuff? Yeah. And, I mean, it could be really bad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Could be. I think we're. I think we. I think we. Wait a minute. We, this could be a first. I think the three of us just agreed on something. I think I'd like to change my answer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Gabe Duncan, you're up next. All right. I got one here. Would you rather know everything or be amazing at any activity you tried? Oh, would you rather know everything? I'd rather know Or be amazing at anything I tried. So, time out. You both have to go ahead and acknowledge that you don't know everything. Like you sometimes think you do. Well, that was my problem. You I already was trying know to think I've, I'm going Lose, to... lose. I know. Lose, lose. I'd go with knowing everything. Like that would just be wonderful to be able to do whatever knowledge-wise I could. I, I would go with that. I would time. go with the opposite. Really? I'd rather be good at, at everything that I tried. That, like what? Because if you know everything, you're probably going to end up being so annoying to people. You're not going to have any friends. I'm thinking on them. I'm a forward thinker. So I'm thinking mm-hmm. on down the road. If you know everything, it's hard not to tell people that you know everything. Just ask Gabe. Um, <laughs> it's not hard for him. <laughs> you see my face. <laughs> that beautiful face. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I think I would rather, like, everything I tried, I could be good at and master. Like, if I wanted to go ride a horse, I could be like an equestrian. If I wanted to be a swimmer, I could be like an Olympic gold medalist. Keep dreaming, honey. If I wanted to be the best cook, I could be the pioneer woman. I mean, it just it's that's a that's an endless thing. So I think that I go with great. that. Yeah, so that, I want to be good at anything so you're I like try. Me? Yeah, yeah. You're by yourself on that one, Katie. Okay, that's all right. Okay, I got one more. Okay, would you rather be able to see ten minutes? into your own future or 10 minutes into the future of anyone but yourself? Just 10 minutes? Just 10 minutes. I I mean, honestly, that's just going to be going to get a cup of coffee and going to the restaurant. (laughs) It's kind of exhausting. I I think that that would be a better question if it were longer, like, uh, like a day. Would you rather look into... Okay, would you rather be able to see a day into your own future or a day into someone else's but not yourself? I just feel like, y'all, I'm not going to lie. And it's... Can you imagine knowing the future of your children or what was going to happen to, you know, your... I would say someone else, I think, if I had to truly ask that question. Really? I, I don't think I would want to know. I think it's better that... Why do you think the Lord made it, Candy, where we don't know? I know, but this is a game. <laughs> what tomorrow will bring. <laughs> but I mean, like, I would feel like I would rather know what was going to happen to me a day down the road than have the weight of knowing what everybody else, what's going to happen to them. Like, you'd be able mm-hmm. to pull up at a stoplight and be like, oh, that lady in the car is going to go home and get bad news today. You know what I mean? Like, mm. I just feel like that would be pretty heavy. Yeah, but it's going to be worse if it's, oh, I'm going to go home and get yeah. bad news today. <laughs> true. Yeah, that's <laughs> Do true. Do I have to answer that one? Cause <laughs> that's a hard one, isn't it? It is. That's a hard it one. It is. All right. I'm going to give uh, one more. Would you rather, this is a fun one. Would you rather have every single traffic light that you approach for the rest of your life always be green? Amen. Or Uh-oh. never, ever have to stand in any kind of line again. Gabe? Rest of your life, Gabe. Take those green lights. No. Wait. <laughs> I don't mind sitting in my car to stop late. I don't want to wait in line. Ain't nothing that's more annoying. Yeah. I don't want to wait in line. I 100% agree with that. I would. De- I mean, as soon as I said that question, I was like, "Oh, 
definitely. Yeah. I, I would rather not have mm-hmm. to wait in line anymore. Candy? I'm, yeah, I'm with you on that, waiting in line. I just, I'm not a very yeah. patient person. Are you going to change person. your mind again? you got that look. Are, really? Are, Are you, you going to change, change your, mind? your mind? No, my mind's just going to a different scenario when you're waiting in line in your car. Oh like yesterday, God. I was at the pharmacy, and it's a two drive through <laughs> lane, you know, for the pharmacy. There were nine cars in both lanes. So I'm waiting in line in my car. Which is also annoying. Yes. So that's what I was thinking. Yeah. I agree. Ain't no sense in Line it. waiting is... It's hard to do. Yeah, we're a little, mm-hmm. we, are, we are an impatient people. We are. Absolutely. Well, I got, yeah, I got things to do. <laughs> you got places to go and you got people right. to meet. All right. Well, how fun was that? Would you rather <laughs> try it with your family and your friends and do these really fun, thought-provoking questions, and just have some laughs. We need more laughs, y'all. In this world, Mm -hmm. we need more laughs. Thanks for listening to the Quirks, Bumps, and Bruises podcast with Melody, Candy, and Gabe. If you enjoyed the show, please take a moment to subscribe, rate, and share the podcast. You can learn more at joyfm.org.